Hi, this is John with Performance Plus Tennis, and we have Adriana back with us today. And about five months ago, we did a couple of serve lessons, and I haven't seen Adriana serve since then. I don't know how much you've been working on your serve. You said not very much, um, but we're gonna take a look and do a review of your serve today and get you, get you back on track or see how if you're on track on your serve. And let's begin by having you hit a couple of serves. Okay, perfect. Well done. Good job. So Adriana is at the exact phase that almost every beginning adult tennis player is at when they're learning to serve. And you're starting to be able to get the ball in the box so you can start to play. Uh, and what this is really uh, important is that what happens to most adult players is they get locked into this technique and they become very limited. So could your serve improve if you didn't change the, the, the mechanics of it? It will get better and you'll get more consistent, but you will hit a ceiling very quickly. So Adriana, you're really at a, at a place in, in time where you, know, you either make a choice to really develop a good serve or you're gonna get trapped with the movement that you have. So let's do this. If, if I have you in the serve again, I've talked about this a lot before, the serve is really a choreographed movement. It's a planned movement. If I said, go ahead and do a rehearsal of your serve without a ball and may, try to make it feel the way you think it should be, let's have a look at your serve. Okay. Let's, so you just do a couple of rehearsals and just practice it, okay? Okay, a couple more. Good. So the first adjustment I want to make, and I think this really is helpful because it reveals what you know or what you have an image of, and it really helps me understand where you're at. So go ahead and do your imaginary routine again. It looks really good here. Good. And now reset your hands to start. Now when you start your serve in the two demonstrations you did, both hands went up together and your racket went back and stopped. What we want to do, and remember the routine will help you have your hands separate away and you're going to go this way and you're going to get your arm behind you and now notice that your elbow's behind you and you're in a throwing motion. So let's see you do that again, okay? And let's see if you can and execute that movement. Better. Good. Okay, let's do that again. And I'll do it with you. You ready? We can do it together. So hands are set. Weight's slightly in the back foot. Hands are going to fall away. Weight's going to shift over the ball. Reset the hands. Come back, let your hands separate away, and go into your trophy position. Okay, let's see you do that. Okay, and what I'd like you to do is when you do your shift back from the front foot, once I'm here, use the shift back right here to have your hands follow and then separate. So it's a nice coordinated movement. Okay, so you do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and do your routine again. And now reset your hands, but see how you've already put your weight back? Yeah. Now you can shift your weight back and now go. That's right, okay? okay. Yeah. So use that shift back to get your swing started. Okay, and we wanna make, and let's make that slower. And a couple things that a lot of times beginning players were trying to get momentum to get the ball up and we haven't really got the skill yet of using the tossing arm, so we're looking for momentum. So we get a lot of action in here. What we want to do is really trim that out. Try to stand up tall and feel like you don't move at all. Does you come back like this and go into your trophy. Really trim that movement out. <clears throat> Better, let's do it again. Okay. And now stay tall, stay tall, good. And now just shift back. Don't dip down too much with your head. Stay up and go here. There you go. And now, now we're in this point. There you go. Now bend both knees. Flex both knees. Now look up at your, you don't even have to bend that much, just a little bit. That's good. There you go. Good, good. Okay. 
So we're reviewing the movement of how to get into the serve, into the trophy position, and the balance that supports that trophy position. Okay, try it again. Okay, so the movement pattern is pretty good, but let's go slower. So we, what we don't want to do is go fast here. What we want to do is go slow, slow, quick, eventually. Okay, try again, nice and slow. Good job. So next, let's place the ball into that. So the idea here would be to place the ball up. Here you go. Place the ball up, and if it comes back to your hand, great. If it doesn't, that's okay. But place the ball up and go into your trophy position. Okay? Okay. okay. <clears throat> Hold. So put your left heel down. Pick up your right heel, flex it into both legs. Good. 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 Here's another ball. Good. Try again. Okay. Good. So here's another ball. And let's do this this time. So we can, we can see pretty quickly that the skill of placing the ball and getting to the balance needs to be developed further. So we're going to work on that. So. Where you're having trouble is really once you pick the ball up right here to the point of release. Yes. So we're going to work on this, this phase of the serve. Just copy me. Ready? Just copy me all the way down to the leg and all the way to the top of the head. And keep the weight of your arm and your shoulder so you're keeping that muscle engaged in your shoulder. Good. Let's come the hands together. And let the ball go. Reset, back foot, one, two, three, four, five. Reset the hands, down. This time we're going to reset the hands, we're going to come to the back foot, and we're going to release the ball. Okay, let's see how you do. Getting better, okay? So you want to feel like this is here, and this is coming here, and lifting to here. It's all in this muscle. Yeah. It's all there. You release, keep the arm rising up, okay? Okay. Try. Here you go. Mm-hmm. Okay? So when, when we're holding the ball, we can see that you really don't feel comfortable with the ball leaving your hand. So a couple of things. We don't want the ball on the fingertips because we don't have control of it. We don't want it down on the palm because it's going to roll out of our hand. And that's important. So we're looking to put the ball on the last section of the fingers called the pads here and hold it this way. Okay. Now I also see that your wrist is flexed this way. So that's going to make it feel, it's going to weaken the muscle in the shoulder. You can feel that. And it's going to make it awkward. So what I would say is lay the wrist down. So when you get to the point of release, the palm is more vertical, and it'll make it much more comfortable to let the ball go. Okay? Okay. So let me take a look at your wrist. Yes, like this rather than this. Good, very good. Okay. Okay, here you go. And so let's go ahead now and do our whole routine again. So we'll start right from the top. Good. Good. So this is, this is the magic here. This is where it all has to come together. A ball placement that is consistent in location and height is going to allow you to have a, develop a consistent move to the ball. If the ball is always different, then you're having to modify swing paths and positions and timing of movements to adapt to the ball. Okay? And that is in part why most beginners will place the ball low because if it's low, it's very easy to sort of manage the contact. Okay, but it is limiting. So we know where you want to go to, and you just have to keep working on it in stages. Okay, now let's do another, another part of this. And now that you've got a little more information, let's see you do another 
rehearsal on your serve. And I'm going to do one just to give you an image okay, of my rehearsal. And let's see you go ahead and do a rehearsal. Okay, go ahead. Good, much better, okay? And we'll work with that to refine your swing more. There's a couple of things in there that we could do. But the more that you do the rehearsing and you start to get the feel of it, the better. Because you're going to learn the movements. Instinctively, you're gonna, your instincts are going to take over as you do repetition with a little guidance, of course, to, to what feels right and feels natural. So go ahead and do a couple of more. Okay? Good, good. So the pattern looks really good. What I'm going to ask of you this time is that when you come back, let's not let the racket stall here. If, you, if the racket's going to pause, it's going to pause outside and above. And then when you want to make your move, it will fall and rise in one motion. Okay? Let's see you try that. That's right. And it'll fall and go by itself. Okay? You see how the racket was down your back paused? Yeah. That's the place we want the racket to move through, not pause. So go ahead and get in your trophy position. Good. Put your head to the inside like that and down your legs. A little bit down your legs. Good. And now push with your legs and this will fall and rise by itself. See that? Once you're here and you make your move, the racket will only can fall and rise. So it doesn't have to stall at all. Okay? That makes sense? Yeah. And throw. Okay? And we're going to get that racket to fall and rise in one movement. So the key things I would practice is the rehearsing without the ball, and then I would be practicing the, the whole first half of the serve routine, placement of the ball, and the balance. And if you can improve these areas, then we can come back and refine your serve even more. Your grip looks great. You've got the continental grip that looks really, really good. Keep working with that, keep practicing with it, even if it feels awkward. Okay. It probably doesn't feel awkward when you don't have the ball, but when you have the ball, it probably feels yeah, awkward. Thank you so much for coming out today, and I hope that these, this additional lesson and these ideas will help you on your journey to developing a professional quality serve. Yeah? Are you ready? Yeah. Excited? Good. Thanks so much for watching today's video. I hope you'll take these concepts home with you and work on these parts of your serve. The beginning, the routine, the balance, and the ball placement, because those combined are the gateways to developing a professional quality serve. Thanks so much for watching the video. Please like, comment, subscribe to our channel. Let us know down below what you'd like us to film to help you on your journey to developing a professional quality tennis game. And also click on the link down below because I have a free gift for you and that is my guide to developing a professional quality serve where I review all the key principles you need to master to achieve your full serving potential. Thanks again for watching today's video and we'll see you in the next lesson.